the people who are supposed to support you are the ones trying to rip you off. How do they expect you to grow? What's good everybody? Welcome back to my channel guys. So today we're going to be talking about standards. Get some. If you don't don't already have him. Do you have standards? What are your standards? Are you sure you have standards? And if so, do you live by them? Do you enforce your standards? Do you? Do you? Do you? Or not? Now let me tell you guys, it's so important to have standards in life. Standards for yourself and standards for the people in your life. Now people think that Standards are like like when you want to get a boyfriend, girlfriend, or like when you want to get a husband, or when you're courting. Standards are for every relationship in your life. Because in every relationship in your life, you must teach people how to treat you. You must make it clear what you will and won't accept. You must have standards in your friends. Not everyone can be your friend. Because not everyone is going where you're going. Show me your friends and I'll show you your future. That's why you need to have standards. You need to have standards when picking a spouse. Why are you going for that person? Write down what you want. Okay? But anyway, let me not be wishy-washy. Let's start with the friends. Now, people think that in terms of friends, you don't have to have standards. This person is cool. They've got a vibe. Oh, we can be friends. We like the same thing, so we can be friends. That is a lie from the pit of hell. It's a lie. Because the Bible says that bad company corrupts good character. First of all, okay? But also, you cannot be a young man, a young woman on the rise. You know, you want to be an entrepreneur. You want to be the next big thing. You want to be Oprah, honey. You want to be Bill Gates. But you're chilling with people who just get high and drink all day. They will never motivate you to do anything. They'll actually be like, when, when you're trying to grind, they'll be like, yeah, man, come have a blunt, come drink, come smoke, come, you know, come do all these things. They will never urge you to learn more. They will never urge you to seek more. And so you never will feel the need to. Now I'm asking you, do your friends challenge you? Do your friends challenge you? If not, you need new friends. Are your friends inspiring you to be a better person spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally, financially? Are they inspiring you to be a better person? Are they saying get to know God better? Are they saying pray better? Are they saying I see that you pray but you can do better? Are they saying you work hard but you can work harder? Are they saying you're at a level but you can go higher? Because if they're not, you need to move on. Are they supporting you as well? You know, a lot of people are, are easily going to support Beyonce, Cardi B, and all these celebrities who are But you, who started a new business, they'll never support you. They'll never share your work. They'll never repost your work. They'll never buy from you. Instead, they're the ones saying, give me a discount. Give it to me for free. The people who are supposed to support you are the ones trying to rip you off. How do they expect you to grow? Are your friends supporting your business? Are they supporting your hustle? And are they saying you need to do better? Because if they're not, you need some new friends. All right? Now let's move on to the spouse. So, a lot of people, as a woman, when you expect a man to pay for a date and whatnot, people think that, oh my gosh, she's a gold digger, you know, we go 50-50, blah, blah, blah. You know what? You need to teach a man how to treat you. Because if you introduce yourself to a man as a woman, he doesn't have to try hard for it your whole relationship he'll never try hard for you in fact he'll get lazier and it'll get worse because you taught him that he never has to make an effort for you you need a man who will try hard for you never teach a man to be lazy on the first date never teach a man that he can treat you any way he wants to okay from the beginning set your rules do you have standards when it comes to relationships what is your rule what is your standard do you apply it you need to find a man and this is for men and women okay it's just that as a woman, I'm more inclined to speak from the position of a woman. But you need to set your standards. You need to get someone who will meet and beat your standards. If you have a partner who is not willing to meet and beat your standards, then you need to find somebody else because you're with the wrong person. That person doesn't want to try for you. Are you with people who don't want better for you? So does your partner have standards for you as well? Do you have standards? Do you apply them? 
you know? Have you taught him or her how to treat you, how to speak to you? You need to say there's a certain way that people can't speak to you. You can't speak to me like that. You can't call me stupid. You can't call me the B word. I don't swear. You can't call me the B word. You can't treat me any way you want to treat me. You must treat me with respect. But let's remember that respect is earned. He who wants respect must earn it. So you cannot dress like a harlot. You cannot speak like a harlot and expect him to treat you like a queen. Because in all of life, a queen acts like a queen. There are certain rules that queens follow. Queens don't act willy-nilly and anyhow they want to act. They have certain rules to follow. And a queen treats her king as a king. That's what makes her a queen as well. That's what makes him treat her like a queen. Because as much as you want to be treated like a queen, you must treat him like a king. What are your standards? Have you set a standard for yourself? I must treat him this way. I'm That is my man. And I will treat him this way. Do you have standards for someone else as well? Do you have standards to govern your own self? I don't talk to people like that. I don't treat people like that. Do you have standards for yourself? Because as much as we need to have standards for other people, we need to have standards for ourselves. So I'm asking you, what are your standards for yourself? What are your standards for other people? Today, I'm urging you guys to look at your standards. If you don't have some, get some. And if you have them, Look at them carefully. Evaluate them. Do you apply them? Look at standards for yourself and for other people. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. I want to hear what are your standards. Do you have them? What standards do you apply? I will be back with more videos, guys. Peace and love.